to this because the question, or the statement was about grief. And can grief be part of the path to bring you home to your soul is what I'm asking you. You know, when you think about grief and you think about grieving in the society that we live in, in, in modern culture, we don't seem to do grief very well, do we? I mean, if you, you know, the, the, something happens and you're feeling sad or something, you know, brings you down, there's a lot of commentary about, implied at least, about how you should get over it. Um, well, it's been three months since the breakup or it's been a year since the person died or since your cat died or your dog died or whatever it is that there's some sort of imaginary timeline that people seem to have inside of their heads about how long you're allowed to grieve for. And I find that rather interesting and fascinating um, because one of the things I know for sure is that we all grieve in our own time and we grieve in our own way and it's a little bit different for everybody. But people seem to have this agenda around grief. And it's like grief is this thing that nobody wants to do. I mean, why would you, right? It's like, oh God, you know, going into all that sadness and that pain, why would I go to that? Why wouldn't I just move past it and go on? Well, the truth of the matter is that if you don't, if you don't actually be with your grief, whatever that grief is, then it will, in fact, always stay with you. And, you know, we see this in societies where, you know, people, women have been widowed for 40 years and they're still walking around in black and, you know, every, on the anniversary of the death of their husband, they're, you know, they, they go into full-blown sadness and all the rest of it, or it creeps into people's lives. And sometimes it's, it's dramatic and sometimes it creeps. It's, it's a... It's, it's a, 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 an undercurrent of uh, distaste. It's an undercurrent of uh, feeling cynical about the world or cynical about love and those kinds of things. And it's all these kinds of ways that we say that it's not okay to grieve. And, but at the same time, it doesn't go away. It never does. So I want to, I want to share with you tonight on this show on this particular episode about the importance of grief and why I think, I believe with all my heart that we need to embrace it. Now, let me be clear when I say I believe with all my heart that we should embrace it. <laughs> that implies that I'm really good at it. That's not true. Like anybody else, I have struggled around grief. I have thought about how I can get over it. I've pushed myself through it. I have done all the dysfunctional and unhealthy things one can do around grief and uh, it's not good it's not good and the thing about a grief is that what you're grieving for is completely subjective what do I mean by that is this you know people say well it's okay to grieve if you if somebody died that you're close to but it's not okay if you grieve a dog, or a cat, or a pet, or um, a friendship, or a breakup. You know, like, like we've all got these categories of what's okay to grieve. There's also a prejudice about what kind of grief you can have. So you can have grief for this, but not for that. So there's all these weird and wonderful ways in which to, you know, these are not weird and wonderful. But I mean, just all these weird ways that uh, we categorize grief and make it okay or not okay. So what I want to bring you to is this. We live in a society, and you may have noticed this, by every single advertisement on TV, on, on the internet, on in mo you know, it's everywhere. Every storyline and everything tells us that we're not enough. We're constantly looking to look for what it is that we can add. And if you, I don't know if you've noticed this, but you maybe, uh, I'm certain that you've felt it, um, and you probably have friends that have felt it, and family who have felt it, and most people are not too willing to admit it, but it's there. It's part of the human condition, this feeling of not being enough. And so the, the presumption, the presupposition of that feeling of not being enough is that 
I've got something I need to add. So maybe if I add a Rolex watch, maybe if I add a, 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 a new car, maybe if I add a new set of tits, maybe if I add another million dollars to the bank account, maybe if I add something to me, then I'll be lovable, then I'll be enough, then I'll have it together so that I'm good enough to be loved. And so we become this entire society driven by adding to ourselves driven by becoming more and it becomes this insatiable hunger to have more to be more to because at some level if I'm more if I'm thinner if I'm prettier if I'm better looking if I wear better clothes if I have more of whatever it is more intellect more degrees whatever it might be then maybe just then maybe I'll be lovable and wouldn't that be wonderful then I'll be enough then I'll be I'll be just enough it'll be fabulous right that's the presupposition of the society that we live in that we have to add more and so when something goes away we feel grief because we feel like we've lost something if everything suddenly has gone away or something has suddenly gone away then this feeling of grief is so tremendous because maybe now we're not enough anymore now we're less than we were five minutes ago or last year or last week maybe that's what's actually going on so now we're not okay and so that grief comes up again about not being enough but here's the key your mind your ego our society tells us that we're not enough but your soul knows that you've always been enough. You couldn't be anything but enough, but you're already whole and you're already complete. So what would happen if you actually embraced grief? What would happen if you actually embraced the letting go? What would happen if you actually embraced not only not adding more, but actually letting things move away from you. The ego is adding, but the soul takes away everything that's not true to who you actually are. And so it's a constant process of letting go that brings you home. Grief is an important journey to your soul. It brings you home because it reminds you that you are not everything that is external of you. So embrace your grief and celebrate your grief because that letting go peace is reminding you of the truth of who you are. And the truth of who you are has got nothing to do with anything you add. The dichotomy is the pull towards having more, which is egoic, and the call of the soul, which is to let it go release and understand that there is nothing more to add you're already whole you're already complete so embrace your grief welcome your grief be grateful for everything you have and everything you had embrace it recognize it welcome it understand that it's important but it's not who you are And yes, there's sadness as you let go. And it's good, it's important that you recognize that and you acknowledge it and be grateful for whatever it brought into your life for as long as it brought came into your life. Do that, embrace it, but understand there's no part of you that was ever lost. There's no part of you that needs to have anything added to you. You're already whole, you're already complete. The ego pulls to more, the soul pulls to less. Till next time, this is Dove Baron, fullmontyleadership.com. Saying, stay curious, my friend, stay curious about what you need to let go of and what you need to allow yourself to feel the grief of letting go of. Till next time, this is Dove Baron, fullmontyleadership.com. And I am out.